What's going on guys? Thanks again for tuning in to the Solbazium channel. So we've got a very good show for you today. We're gonna to be going over everything red light therapy and pain management, all right? So being in this industry for so long, pain management is probably the number one, if not number two, most popular thing people are always asking, you know, when it comes to red light therapy. If it's not for reversing the signs of aging, it's for managing pain. So I'm gonna tell you how it works. I'm gonna tell you the mechanisms behind it and all that. Now, before we get into everything, I wanna make one thing clear. I'm not a doctor. So don't take this as medical advice. I'm not here to give medical advice. Always talk to your medical professional before beginning any new health and wellness routine, you know, if it's red light therapy or anything in general. All right, so here's the thing. I really don't have to tell you guys what pain is. It's something that all of us experience, you know, being human beings. It could be from stubbing your toe, you, could, you might get a burn in the kitchen, or it could be arthritis. Now, there are three different types of pain I'm gonna talk about. Acute pain, chronic pain, and neuropathic pain. So the first one is acute pain, all right? Pretty self-explanatory. Acute pain is something like, you know, getting a burn in the kitchen, stubbing your toe, breaking a bone or something. You know the source, you know why it happened, and it's usually not gonna last that long. You know, you're gonna be hurt originally, and then you're gonna slowly heal, and the pain will go away. It's not something that's gonna be long-lasting. Okay, so the number two cause of pain is neuropathic pain, all right? Now, this could be damage to the nervous system. It could be misfiring of pain signals in the body. And this is caused by things such as, you know, diabetes. It could be from a car accident. It could be from infections, you name it. There's a long list of things that can cause this. Might feel like tingling, like an electric shock or something like that. All right, so the last one on the list is chronic pain. And this is any type of pain that, you know, might last for months or years into the future, all right? And this is one that probably has the biggest impact on people's lives. And it's one that I wanna really touch on in this video, because I'm hoping that red light therapy in some way, shape, or form could help with this. Now, chronic pain could be anything from experiencing reoccurring neck pain, could be headaches, uh, it could be overall pain in the body, inflammation, you name it. All right, so before we jump into all the details of you know how you can manage uh, pain by using red light therapy, I wanna give you like a base level overview of what red light therapy is and how it works. So number one, it's a scientifically validated treatment option, all right? Thousands of papers from all over the world have proven that it is effective at managing pain, reversing the signs of aging, you know, enhancing recovery from exercise and whatnot, and much more, all right? And it's natural, that's the best part. This technology works by using lasers or LEDs to deliver therapeutic wavelengths of light to the human skin, all right? Now, this could be anything from 660 nanometers red to 850 nanometers infrared. These are the two most popular wavelengths. Now, if you're gonna be managing pain and other things like that, I would recommend infrared light, which is 850 nanometers or somewhere right around there to really penetrate deep into the flesh. But it works by providing the mitochondria all right, in your DNA with energy. And the more energy you have, guess what? The better your cells can function and heal and recover. Now, not only will your cells be re-energized from this, but you're gonna also be increasing blood flow in the tissue, okay? Which will help with recovery and enhancing performance and relieving pain and all of that. With infrared light, you're gonna notice like a warm feeling. You're gonna feel it all over your body if you have one of the larger panels. And it's pretty therapeutic, it feels very good, it relaxes you and gets you into a zen state, you know, like you're just fully relaxed and you're present in the moment. So we just covered, you know, how the light is delivered to the body and how the cells are energized and how they're able to function at a much higher level. But one thing I really want to touch base on is the miracle molecule nitric oxide. So light therapy actually stimulates the release of nitric oxide. So how important is nitric oxide? Well, back in 1998, three scientists were awarded the Nobel Prize for discovering this molecule and how it can impact the human body. The coolest thing about nitric oxide is that it is a natural vasodilator in the human body. So it naturally widens blood vessels and capillaries, meaning that you know when you use light therapy, you're gonna be widening these capillaries and blood vessels, thus increasing blood flow to tissue and nerves and all that and it lasts for hours. So as you can see, nitric oxide is really important when it comes to healing and regenerating the body. And having red light therapy, I mean, it's just a win-win situation, all right? Not to mention that with nitric oxide, it's gonna naturally send signals to the body to initiate the healing process. Not only that, it's going to enhance 
the rate at which your body can deliver nutrients to tissue and all that. All right, so all of this information is great and everything, but you know, what can it treat exactly, all right? Guess what, it's a very long list. You're gonna be able to treat back pain, neck pain, um, arthritis pain, you name it, anything really. I mean, even I use it on myself. Like I have a very bad shoulder here. I've got a plate in it, I've got seven screws, and I get pretty severe pain if I lift weights or anything like that. And I use red light therapy all the time to treat the pain and to relieve inflammation there. So it's definitely an effective tool. It's something that I personally use myself. Now, my recommendation for you, if you're just getting into red light therapy or you've just bought a panel, is to use this treatment two times a day, all right? for 10 to 25 minutes at a time. You're also gonna to want to experiment with yourself because everyone responds differently to red light therapy, all right? And it's also gonna come down to the power of your device. All right, so that takes care of everything red light therapy and pain management. I made it concise and to the point, and hopefully now you guys have a pretty good idea of how red light therapy can treat pain and help you manage it. So don't just limit it to the things I talked about in this video, like back pain and neck pain and all that. If you do a quick Google search, there's so many other things that red light therapy can treat when it comes to pain, all right? Check out the link in the description of this video. I'll list some research papers and maybe a blog or two that I've written about the subject and have a wonderful day. See you guys. And one last thing before we go, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Solbasium channel. Also, if you have any questions, comment below, I'll answer them.